So I wanted to do a video on um, the Mirror Reflection Network. Now, initially I kind of was, uh, I scoffed at this because I didn't really understand. Well, I listened to the guy who, who talked about it. I'll try to find and post a link. Um, but he impressed me. He seemed uh, rational and logical uh, looking at the thermal issue from every possible angle. And, uh, you know, coming up with really the only, only answer that he could, I think, and that is uh, to reflect energy away from the earth. Uh, and, and the math is a little bit, I think, misleading in the sense that it's, uh, he deals with a scale that not, you know, basically a, a mirror, the amount of energy it takes to produce a mirror, um, is paid for, paid for, so to speak, and its reflective capacity in a very short amount of time, like one or two days. And then every day after that, that is reflecting light, it's reflecting additional energy um, above and beyond what the energy required it took to make that um, mirror. And because that is such a, a large uh, energy return on investment percentage-wise uh, over the course of, let's say, five years, um, it's possible to imagine that uh, going to scale. But then the part that's not misleading about that is you know, no, the amount of mirrors that are ultimately going to be required to expel uh, that much heat into space, you know, it's huge, huge amounts of mirrors. Uh, I'm sure I, I haven't done the math, and he didn't, and I'm sure he didn't for a good reason, because showing that it's possible by showing the the, the leverage point, which he called it, which it is, um, it's like a, you know, as time proceeds, a greater and greater uh, leverage point. But let's say to give it a rational time frame, like 30 years, it's like a million to one leverage point, I'm guessing, but it's a si significant, not a million to one, but all right, let's say it's a thousand to one, a thousand to one leverage, energy in versus energy out for cooling the planet um, with an efficiency of, uh, with a high efficiency with that particular tactic. But um, <clears throat> the idea can be expanded upon, I'm sure, with essentially whitewashing everything with an attempt to uh, increase the reflectivity of human habitat, cities, uh, urban and uh, suburban dwellings, uh, going to shiny roofs, going to um, white roofs, going to uh, painting the white, the, the roads white, although I'm not sure that how that would work, that would probably be um, slippery. Yeah, but you get my point. It's uh, it's almost more, cons more plausible in my mind from a 
a workload perspective because I just I know how lazy people are that it would end up being like the government legislating uh, all new roofs have to be this shade or lighter uh, in order to offset climate emissions or offset CO2 emissions through you know thermal radiation reflection hey <laughs> whatever um then them actually like building huge fields of mirrors and reflecting that energy out into space now what they did talk about and I know that the the Club of Rome was involved in this like years and years ago is the uh, the solar thermal uh, power generators where they have like the, the black ball up in the air filled with salt and then the mirrors reflect all the sun's energy to that black ball it gets very hot melts the salt and they generate power with that and it's, they say it's the most efficient form of um, solar energy that there is uh, I could see them building more of those but just to, for them to put mirrors out just for the sole purpose the good thing the, don't get me wrong it's the most efficient form of solar energy but it's still a heat gain. You're not reflecting any energy out. You're, you're making clean power, which is good. But there's no thermal benefit to that whatsoever. But I could imagine them doing that because of energy return. The thermal benefit comes when they reject it directly out into space. Don't even attempt to capture the energy. That's where you get the thermal benefit. And I just can't imagine them doing that. But it, it it does make me like pause and think, like okay, there is a possible geoengineering solution to climate change, and they're talking about cloud whitening, this and that, and again, I believe that they would do that before they would put mirrors out just to reflect the energy purely out to space. Um, so I think that there should be like uh, mirrors that we could buy and put on our roofs because I would do that. I would, if I, I would do it until they told me to take it down and I still might, but I'm a little nervous about like the fragility of some of these mirrors under snow load and I would want it to be a somewhat structured thing. I don't know. I would have to. I suppose I could just glue a mirror to plywood. Whatever. I'll come up with something. 